Hey guys, it's Connor, and today we're going to look at a really quick and easy color tint effect that you can use for your music videos. This is an extremely popular effect right now, primarily in metal music videos, to get a red color tint. And normally you would just think that using all red lights would be the best way to achieve that, but lighting a set all red is actually extremely difficult to get it to look saturated enough and consistent enough. So we're going to use a color tint effect in Adobe Premiere to do all the hard work for us. This look is really only going to work if you keep this look in mind from the very beginning of your shoot. If we're not lighting it properly, then this look is going to look really flat, it's not going to look very punchy, and you're probably going to be disappointed with the end result. If you've never shot black and white before, it's actually very similar to the type of lighting that we have to do in order to pull this effect off. When you take color away from an image, you lose a really vital tool that helps create a visual interest and contrast and dynamic in an image. For example, if we made this black and white right now, you'd have no idea that this light over here is blue, but that blue accent light is creating depth in this image. If we take away its color, it no longer contributes anything to the image. So the only thing that creates an interesting dynamic in this image when we make it black and white is the amount of light versus the amount of dark. This is a really long-winded way of saying that we need to light a very high contrast image in order to make it look punchy, look dynamic, and have a lot of depth to it. If we shoot with very soft, even kind of beauty lighting that you would use for portraits, then when we use this effect, we don't have enough shadow to create a deep, interesting image anymore. We just have too much light and there's no contrast there to work with. So I've already brought my footage into Adobe Premiere and now it's just a matter of applying the effect and then manipulating it to be the exact contrast and color tint that we want. So we're gonna start by going over to the effects tab and typing in tint. And we'll just click and drag that onto our footage. Now it'll right away make our footage black and white. And if you look in the effects tab here, those are the two colors that we have to work with. We have the option of mapping the blacks to a specific color, or we can map the whites to a specific color. You can do whatever you want, but for this tutorial, I'm just going to recreate the look that I showed you earlier, and we're going to do a red and black look. So we'll start by clicking on the white swatch, and it'll bring up the color picker. We'll just do a bright red and hit OK. And there, that's the basic effect. Now, from here, you can tweak it. And personally, I like to make it a little bit of a punchier look because the lighting wasn't quite as dynamic as I wanted it to be. And I'm shooting in a log profile, so it's already squishing the contrast for me. So what I'm gonna do is pull up three-way color corrector and apply that onto my footage. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and increase the shadows here. And there we have a much more punchy, high contrast look. Just make sure that when you're done applying this effect that you go back to each shot and adjust the contrast and exposure as necessary to make sure they all match each other. The best part about this effect, in my opinion, is just the fact that you don't have to rent crazy locations or hire actors or spend money on like pyrotechnics or something just to create this really cool video look. You can just use free tools in Adobe Premiere and still have a music video that's instantly recognizable with a bold look high contrast and something that's really going to work well for a ton of different scenarios. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you've got any questions or any requests for videos in the future, please let me know and I'd be happy to do them for you. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.